What is the most common thing you would hear a math teacher say? Find x or keep quiet? Calculate theta? What is maths if not a constant adventure to find x? And what is maths class if not for the teacher constantly shouting keep quiet? But anyway, let us leave those two aside and play around with that theta and learn this wonderful topic called trigonometry. Like the zero, decimal system and most basic of math, trigonometry too had its birth in India even though it was Arabs and the Greek that taught it to the world. So, what is this trigonometry? Trigonometry literally means measures of the trigon or measures of a triangle. The main focus is a right angle triangle. In a right angle triangle, we give name to each side with respect to an angle. Say, this is our reference angle. Then, this side is called the adjacent side or base. And this is the perpendicular or opposite side. The longest side is the hypotenuse. This is a wonderful shape and we get some real interesting result when we play around with these sides. Pythagoras drew three squares which each side of the triangle as a side of each square. He found out that the area of the square drawn on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of areas of the squares drawn on the base and the opposite side. This is what we learn as a Pythagoras theorem. Another fun fact we can do is try and find the ratio of these sides. So, what are the possibilities we have? Opposite by hypotenuse, adjacent by hypotenuse and opposite by adjacent. And then we can have the reciprocal of these ratios. Not so fancy a task. But what makes this interesting is the fact whatever be the length of the sides of a right angle to triangle, the value of this ratio for a given reference angle will always be the same, be it a big triangle or a small triangle. So that is why we have taken the pain to name these random ratios and memorize some of their standard values. It is not very comfortable to call this angle the reference angle every time. So, this angle is what we refer to by this Greek letter theta. So, this first ratio was what the mathematicians called sine. This cosine and the tangent. The reciprocal ratio are named cotangent, secant and cosecant. Hearing such strange names, it is quite normal for us to wonder how these names came up. Like we said, trigonometry had its birth in India. Indian mathematicians studied the relation between a chord and the angle subtended. They found the relation between half of this chord and the radius or half of the subtended angle. Since this shape resembles the shape of a bowstring, the mathematician called it Ja or Jiva, which is the Sanskrit for bowstring. When the Arabs took it to Persia, then they called it Jiba. When the Europeans tried to translate this, Jiba was mistranslated to the Latin word sinus which means cavity which look like the sine graph when plotted 
It was this word sinus that later turned out to be called sine, written as sine. Cosine comes from the word complementary sinus, which means the value which change along with the sine. So, cosine is a complementary of sine. We all know what a tangent is. It's a line touches a circle only at one point. Say we have a circle of radius 1. We learn that tan is the ratio of opposite side to the adjacent side. For this triangle, the ratio is PQ by OP1. OP is the radius equal to 1. Therefore, this ratio is equal to PQ, which is the length of the tangent subtended by the angle theta. So, tan actually stands for tangent. Cotangent is the complementary of tan and is often written as cot. The term sec was derived in a way similar to tan. In the circle of radius 1, when we draw this triangle and find the ratio of hypotenuse to adjacent, we get this ratio equal to this length OQ, which is a secant of this circle. A secant is a line that cuts the circle at two points. The complement of secant is called cosecant and represented as cosec. Playing around with these ratios has a big role to play in many fields like architecture, criminology, all branches of engineering, the list goes on. In our next video, we will study more about these ratios, how they are related to each other and how we can easily memorize and remember these relations because we are here to ensure your happy learning.